<laughs> the battle that's raging between women's rights and transgender rights yeah. is a serious battle. Yeah. It's a serious debate. And you can see what's happening at the Guardian newspaper, ripping itself apart now between the two camps of feminists yeah. and the transgender community who say they're being anti-transgender. This issue of, for example, women's sport, we've got the Olympics coming, you've got uh, a New Zealand weightlifter who lifted as a male in competition who's now smashing records, having identified as female. This is where it does get, I think, quite yes. serious for the potential effect it has on women's rights. Are you happy for anyone born to a male biological body to simply raise their hand without any need for surgery and to compete in the Olympics against women born to mm. female biological bodies. So I'm a huge fan of athletics and this has been a really big raging debate because particularly around the issue mm. of Casta Semenya mm. and so I've been following it really closely. But hang on, Casta Semenya is th that's a different case. Different case. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, 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 that, but actually there are, there are really, really problematic issues here. Casta Semenya is not a trans athlete. Athlete. No, no, there's a, No, no, there's an argument about whether Casta Semenya is a man or a woman and it's been, you know, there was a documentary about it. Yeah, but that's a different case. That, sorry, that's a We're talking that's about people self-identifying sure. with male biological bodies saying, I am female, I'm now competing against... Sure. Women born to female biological yeah. bodies. But, That's the debate. But, but the point that I'm making is this, is that there have been all these issues raised in sport over mm. recent years about who qualifies into which contest. It is, that debate is also raging in relation to disability and what level of disability qualifies you to compete in the right. Paralympics. Just back to my question. Doesn't. Should, so, should any man or anyone born to a male biological body be able to self-identify as a woman without any surgery uh, or any of that transition process and compete in professional sport against women born to female biological bodies? Because well, that's the nub of the debate. Yeah, that, that is the nub of the debate. What's but what, I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is there are, there are broader issues here that sport is going to have to grapple with about who is allowed to compete. Well, we had a trans activist on last week, for example, context. who said she, would, she said she would be happy if Usain Bolt or if Floyd Mayweather uh, spent a year taking testosterone treatment and then uh, competed in the 100 metres women's uh, Olympics or me uh, female boxing. Now, would you be happy for Usain Bolt or Floyd Mayweather, and I don't think either of them are planning to do this, but if they decided to self-identify as women and spend a year on testosterone treatment, are you happy for them, as this trans activist was last week, to then compete against women born to female biological bodies. Well, the point I was trying to make before you cut me off was that I think there has to be a commission set up in sport to decide what the parameters are of those sporting rules. I mean, these are rules that are set by sporting bodies. But it's not fair, is it? By Lisa? governing bodies. It's just not sport. fair. No, well, you've got and to make sure it is fair. And it's damaging to that, women's that, rights. That is my point. You've got to make sure that it is fair. You've got to make sure that it's fair for every generation of athletes that comes through. Mm. And it is for sport to have a proper commission to sit down and need, work out Lisa, where the boundaries respect, you don't need are a drawn. Commission, you don't need a commission to work out it wouldn't be right for Floyd Mayweather to identify as female and then fight women boxers born to female biological bodies. It's not a commission issue, it's a common sense issue, isn't it? No, I don't... You're I... about to be potentially leader of a Labour Party. And you say that this is something that doesn't really matter, and I'm. You know, I think it does matter. I think these things. No, I think, I think I it think does they, matter. I think it I think is, there's a, it is there's crushing. A, there's a basic women's inherent rights. question of how you treat people properly in this country. Yeah. And I represent domestic violence victims yeah, yeah. who f feel very, very strongly the need for safe spaces in this country. Mm -hmm. And I represent trans people who also are amongst some of the most discriminated against yep. people in this country. But you can I support transgender allow, rights. I will not allow this to become a zero sum battle right. between two people. But nor will you. Give me Two a great answer, people Lisa. who deserve support. Because why would you make policy about the rules governing sports sitting on Good Morning Britain as a Labour leadership contender? That just strikes me as the way why that wouldn't you, you get just into give, this Why wouldn't you on Good Morning argument? Britain just tell our viewers whether you think it's fair, as a trans activist said last week on this programme, that Usain Bolt could self-identify as female and, and compete against women 
born to female biological bodies. Because body. you why are can't you just say, Because like, I'll you, tell you why. Good, you're I'll normal tell you person, why. Lisa. We'll just go, I'll tell madness. you why. Because you are doing what too many people have done in this in this or debate. asking a straight question. No, you've created more heat and less light. You're setting no, up an example. No, no, It's just simply no, nonsense. No, absolute nonsense. It's a straw man. I've asked you a... You're saying Bolt is not planning to self-identify as a woman and run in a woman's yes, race. Yes, but what we are saying... And that's why I say take the no, heat Lisa, out of this... sorry. ...and let's sorry. have a sensible I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry to be pedantic about, about this. ...about where the parameters but lie. They, in Connecticut, contest. for example, in America, there are two uh, trans athletes who were competing as male athletes, born to male biological bodies, tall, powerful, very fast. They are now identifying as female and they're smashing all Connecticut women's records. I don't think that is fair to women's rights. Right. And you might be the first female leader, I'm presuming you're still identifying as female, uh, of the Labour Party, and if you are, this is a proper issue about how far do trans rights override women's rights. And I think that your inability to give me a straight answer I am is you your a straight problem, answer. not mine. I am giving you a straight answer, Piers. I'm saying that... This You're needs... not. Uh, no, I'm saying that you are setting up a straw man in this in order to pit one group of people against another. Well, let me give and you... I won't let me have give... it. It is not good Well, let enough. me give you it an exact... It has a real-world impact. You... OK, and you then what about it? the weightlifter in New Zealand who is wanting to compete in the Olympics as a female weightlifter who previously competed as a male weightlifter born with a male biological body. Is that right? Th that's why I said to you we need to set up a commission to consider these issues properly. You won't have a commission in time for the Olympics. They're in three months. Yeah, but th this is why sport needs to get together but and is it sort fair, Lisa? Out. Well, it's... it's, it's... It's why not fair if me? there are no rules. It's not fair if there are no rules. That's why we have to have proper rules. But the idea that you want to pit one group of people against another, I just think this is not good enough. It does have. You know a why I think it's not good enough, Lisa? I, what you're not doing is giving a straight. Answer. I am giving a straight. You're answer. not. No, you're I am giving to, a straight. You're trying answer. to actually do everything but give a straight answer. No, I'm sorry. Because I'm you're not. worried about the reaction I'm your answer not. will cause you. No. You're worried I, no, that the trans I'm worried about the, I'm will worried accuse about, you of betraying I'm worried about and what else. you are doing to some of the most What am I doing? People what am I doing? You are trying to create... What am I doing but trying to defend women's rights from a grotesquely unfair situation where people born to male biological bodies who have an obvious superior strength and power are now being able to simply say I'm female and compete against women born to female bodies. What am I doing that's so wrong? You are attacking some of the most marginalised people am I attacking? in this country Who am by I attacking? setting up a false war Who am I between women no, that's outrageous. and trans women I'm not attacking trans anyone. I've always, that is not I've always supported enough, transgender rights. I'm not attacking anybody. Yes, you are. I'm defending exactly women's... No, I'm defending women's rights. Well, that would be a first, to be honest. It wouldn't, actually. And, and I defend that... women's rights a lot on this programme. I'm sorry, I think this is just outrageous. I you do are too. setting up I two do. groups of people who deserve better against one well, another. By asking and a you're... question about whether they should compete in sport. No, by, by saying that this is a simple issue that doesn't require some careful thought in order to protect two groups of people who frankly deserve better than this basic. Yeah, what they need debate. actually is for people in leadership positions to be honest and to make proper decisions. Yes, and that's what I'm doing. What they don't want and is that's that anyone said, who's asked a question sport, then says, a stop attacking commission. me. We need far less heat, far more light, and you've just shown exactly why over the last few minutes. Wow! Is that what you really think? Yes, that is exactly what Do you what really I'm think, think viewers watching this think I've been attacking transgender people? Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah, I do. I bet you not one of them thinks that. You said it was grotesque. No, I said it's grotesquely unfair to women if transgender athletes mm. born to male biological bodies with superior strength and power are able to compete against them in female competition as, say, weightlifters or boxers. But that's why you need some proper rules around Why can't you just give me a straight answer sport? and agree well, that's, that's unfair? I just said. No, okay. I said you need rules. All right. It's unfair not to have It's unfair not to have It's unfair not to have You want a consultation about it. I think that is, that is your answer.